So very good afternoon viewers welcome to the latest episode of thoughtful leaders an initiative on the thoughts of education at college dunia so i am very glad today that professor dr sudarshan sir has joined today currently serving as a hod of surana college of msc psychology so sir is carrying total 12 plus years of teaching and administrative experience so sir very glad to onboard you today thank you so much for joining right so sir uh, the very first question from my side what inspired you to pursue a career in higher education administration and what drew you to your current role as a dean or hod of this institution so thank you so much uh, doctor Uh, I think it's my pleasure to share some of my thoughts and experience with your viewers. Uh, to to start with, I think uh, this this uh, entire area of getting into education field is driven by my PhD study. Uh, you know, when I was studying, uh, I mean, when I was conducting my PhD uh, research, uh, I was uh, realized that. you know uh, mental health is one of the important uh, area that uh, requires an immediate attention and a lot of people hesitate to talk about mental health because uh, either they have stigma that mental health is a taboo and you shouldn't be talking about it or we don't have a proper setup where people can come and talk and share about their challenges so through my phd study we found that educational institutions can be one best place to provide mental health services because that's where people are open and that is where you know uh, the youngsters meet and you know they also get an opportunity to explore themselves and when it comes from an educational institution people take mental health quite seriously and effectively so that's how i started my journey uh, i was doing my phd at st john's uh, medical college obtained my phd there and then started working for uh, montfort college and montfort college also gave me a lot of experience in terms of how to uh, get into the administration part of of a college uh, especially in the field of psychology so with all those uh, bags of experiences i landed at surana college as uh, the head of the department and here uh, i have been able to implement a lot of my uh, dreams and uh, aspirations and uh, at surana college we are we are trying to make our uh, msc psychology department a true uh, you know leader or beacon of mental health this is how my journey is that is a great sir you have shared a lot of information about your course and about your college thank you so much sir so coming back to the second question what do you see as the biggest challenges facing higher education today and how do you think your institution is addressing those challenges so uh, i think the current education system is going through a lot of transition um, one because of the demand Uh, in the in the market you know for example the kind of jobs that are required and the kind of training that you need to give prepare your children prepare your students to pursue you know their uh, dreams on the other side we have uh, new education policy and many other uh, you know uh, legislative uh, steps taken by governments which are asking the educational institution to be creative to be proactive and prepare our children to be uh, you know job ready so i think the biggest challenge for any educational institution in uh, in today's world is to prepare their students job ready and certain courses are designed to uh, towards that and certain courses are not so i think uh, surana in uh, educational institution surana college is is Uh, is trying its best to make students ready for their jobs uh, not just in terms of uh, giving degrees and certificates but also to give them a real time exposure and prepare them to you know uh, get into their jobs for instance in the department of psychology we have a, a very unique curriculum uh, where in, uh, internship is integrated with our teaching 
So, you know, Mondays and Tuesdays, we mandate students to go out for internships. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is where we will have regular classes. So, uh, we have a mentoring system through which we monitor our students uh, where they go during their internship site and what are they learning and what are their, uh, you know, asynchronous learning. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we meet up and we uh, discuss in our classrooms. So, this is giving our students a better edge because they get a real-time exposure into their uh, field of work and they also prepare themselves pretty well to be an efficient psychologist. So, I think that is how Surana College is addressing the challenge. So, that is how sir, your college is doing a great uh, thing that uh, you are doing this kind of implementation into the education uh, that definitely will uh, involve a student also into more into the education part, right? So, so going back to the uh, next question, sir, how do you approach decision making in your role and how do you balance the needs of different stakeholders when making difficult decisions? All right. So, uh, you know, our department specifically, we believe that students, especially, you know, when they take a master's degree, uh, we believe that they come with a lot of, uh, you know, responsibility. So we treat them like adults, right? We don't treat them like children. Therefore, we call our uh, teaching process as andragogy, right? So we 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 uh, discuss everything with our students, and therefore it is a student-centric approach. So what we do is any decision that we take, whether it is in terms of class schedule or you know uh, planning um, a guest lecture or organizing workshops or any event for that matter, we always consult our students. Um, at the department level, the faculty members conceive an idea and then we present it to students. We ask them, you know, this is the idea, this is how we want to do it. And students give their feedback, their, uh, you know, uh, components, and then we make uh, uh, an event and present it to students. So the decision making process in our department is student centric and student driven, not just student centric. Secondly, you know, uh, many of our decisions are also informed by industry. So we have a strong alumni group and some of our alumni are, uh, are currently working for prestigious institutions like Nimhans, IIT Hyderabad and many such places. So we are in constant touch with uh, all our alumni and we constantly seek their opinions. So we talk to them, we bounce our ideas. For example, you know, if we want to introduce any new thing into our teaching method or we want to introduce a new, uh, you know, certificate course for our students, we involve them into the decision making process. So that is the second uh, way of doing things. The third approach is, you know, uh, uh, we, are, we usually consider uh, the uh, you know, feedback given uh, to us by the students and the family members, the parents, because that will also give us an idea about what are they expecting from us. So it is, you know, all all around uh, consultation that we do before we arrive at any decision, and then we all sit together and come to a conclusion. So I think our decision making process is quite robust in that sense. Okay, sir. So, uh, that is a great thing. Uh, coming back to the sir, next question, uh, that is normally from the students, like any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students? Well, <laughs> um, you know, I don't want to sound very philosophical um, because, you know, I think current generation are well informed. They know how the world works. So, I am nobody to keep suggestion, but I can definitely say that uh, the today's world is in need of um, people who work with human hearts, right? You need to be humane, irrespective of which uh, profession you take, what you are what, what you're doing or what you want to do in the future. Because, you know... The, the market, the world is so competitive, it has become so cutthroat that we have lost all our human values or it is compromised at least. So I think we need to practice that humanitarian approach 
and especially for a student of psychology uh, somebody who want to pursue psychology and get into the field of mental health i think practicing humanitarian approach is absolutely required uh, and you know uh, in that sense our department focuses on helping our students develop a lot of ethical values and uh, you know um, many uh, many virtues that a psychologist must possess right so for example when we teach counseling skills we don't just teach them how to do counseling but we also teach them what are the uh, humanitarian uh, perspectives that you need to take while you help somebody uh, we take them out to uh, a rural uh, area we have our ngo running there uh, one of our alumni runs an ngo called navodaya and we want our students to mingle with rural people mingle with downtrodden less privileged so that they understand the reality they understand the intricacies of real world right you know studying in a classroom with textbooks is one thing but when you go out in reality you will see the world in in its true sense so we want our students to be trained and uh, you know be exposed to uh, to the real world so i think my suggestion to to everyone out there is please practice humanitarian uh, approach in whatever profession that you are in because that is what the world is missing right now true sir very true uh, that is a great approach from your side and uh, sir coming back back to the next question uh, can you describe any specific measures or programs that your institution has implemented to address the rising mental health issues and uh, stress among the students in india right so um, the mental health concerns are are very real and Uh, i think it is not just concerning our department but it is a responsibility for the department of psychology specifically to address these concerns so in this light uh, we have started a unit called surana wellbeing center and this is uh, an initiative a service initiative by the department where we provide consultation for uh, students within the college and people outside so we offer all psychological services ranging from assessments to inter, uh, individual therapies to group therapies and workshops and many other uh, you know psychological services so um, you know this this initiative was basically to help students also to get a uh, hands on training so what we do is uh, we get clients who seek therapy uh individual counseling or group therapies or some companies also reach out to us so we train our students here with all required skill sets in terms of conducting therapies conducting assessments or workshops and our students are then asked to go out and you know provide their services or if they require professional intervention we uh, the professors practicing here uh, we also offer uh, our uh, therapeutic service for example since i am an rci licensed uh, practitioner i see clients here uh, individually uh, so this is how we are trying to spread our service to general public as well as our own students addressing the mental health concerns so in this process uh, so far we have addressed quite a lot of issues uh, ranging from uh, you know daily uh, hazards to uh, uh, clinical disorders and some sometimes we also have to refer them to um, you know uh, the proper mental health uh, hospitals so in this way we have been trying to provide our service uh, for the betterment of the society in the light of mental health so hopefully sir that will help a lot of people right uh, yeah. in this uh, specific concern uh that your team is doing right now from sona's side uh so sir coming with the last question uh, from my side uh what is the new initiatives and uh, collaborations has the university established with industry leaders to promote industry specific courses so our department specifically has uh, has got mous from couple of uh, reputed institutions for instance we have mou with spandana hospital uh, 
uh, which is uh, a psychiatric uh, hospital, uh, which is which is quite reputed. So our faculty goes there to conduct psychometric evaluation for their patients. Our students also go there to do internship and uh, you know all the uh, practical work. Uh, we have MOUs with a uh, couple of corporate companies where we offer training and workshops. So, like this, we are trying to expand our, uh, our reach to various institutions and organizations. The initiative that uh, we have taken is through Surana Wellbeing Center is by uh, you know training our students to conduct modules and workshops. As part of our curriculum, students are expected to develop a module and they have to conduct workshops in various places. So in their uh, third semester, students uh, will develop a module which will be ratified by the mentors and then they will go out and conduct workshops. So this has been one of the most effective ways in which we have been trying to reach to various, uh, uh, various uh, concerned people. So it could be a corporate or an educational institution or NGOs for that matter. Our students have been uh, reaching out to various places. So I think that is one way that we have been promoting uh, the, the connection between institution and industry, uh, especially for students of psychology. Okay, sir. So thank you so much, Dr. Shudarshan, sir, for joining this interview of today. My pleasure. Thank you, Victor, for... Uh, having me here today. Thank you.